Are you aware the president <laughs> just took the COVID-19 vaccine? Are you aware? Uh, I'm not aware he has taken it, but I, I know he, he will take it today. So I don't know. Do you think he should take it? Well, yeah, it depends on him. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if you were the president, would you, would you have taken it? Just to show your people like Yes, them. because we all have doubts about it. So if he's taking it, probably it will, it will lessen people's um, belief on this person. Thing. Okay, I learned this from um, ages 18 and above, yes. Are you going to take it? I know you're above 18. Well, I have to. I have to. Uh, it's for prevention, right? Yes, so I would have to take it so that I, 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 I keep myself from getting it. Welcome to Cape Coast. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Today is first March, and you heard the conversation. You saw the conversation that I was having with one of my teachers, Madam Dinah. So I asked her if she's aware that the president is taking the job today, the COVID-19 vaccine job. And then she said, whatever, whatever. And I asked her whether she's going to take it. She says, yes, for preventive measures. Are you also going to take it? No. This is what happened today. Hey, what's up? So I'm back. Yes, so I was telling you what happened here today on the 1st of March 2021. Now, we all know 2019, uh, we had this virus coming in from China, wherever, and it spread across the world. You know, people are dying and it's, and it's, and it's still going on. You know, I know people are still in this, you know, massacre. I'll call it a massacre because it's killing a lot of people. Now, the World Health Organization has come out with a vaccine and then uh, they're expecting that every country must at least uh, try the vaccine out. So today, 1st of March, uh, we got hold of our vaccines here in Ghana. And the president of Ghana, Nana Akufado, who has been putting a lot of beautiful, awesome, preventive measures to this COVID-19. I remember when we started, I remember in early 2020, uh, there was a lockdown. There were, you know, mask, um, wearing of face masks, washing of hands. I mean, it was beautiful. And Ghana was on top of the list of those people or the countries that were putting beautiful measures out there to prevent the spread of this coronavirus. So we went to the 37 military hospital to take the first job. Yes, um, the, the first person to take the vaccine in Ghana was the president. Why? I think that, I mean, even myself, be, there's been doubt that um, this vaccine wouldn't do anything, it would rather kill us, you know, because of this conspiracy and everything that is going on. But since he is the president, he decided to, hey, 
let me take the vaccine so that my fellow Ghanaians would also take this job and then believe that hey this job is here to help us to help us prevent coronavirus so in this video you see uh, the president of Ghana taking the first job or the first COVID-19 vaccine here in Ghana so hey watch it put up a comment let me know what you think are you going to take the vaccine as well for me um, I might have to take it because um, I'm not saying that because the president has taken it I'm also going to take it maybe I want to take it because I want to prevent the coronavirus from spreading and I've seen on TV news everywhere that people are dying of this coronavirus so I would take it to prevent myself from getting it and also prevent my families from getting it. Mr. President, you've done a great job taking the job, you and your wife, and then the defense uh, ministry, and then the, the, the bosses out there who are you know managing the country, you are taking the vaccines today. And hey, I hope if you're watching this, you also be convinced to do the right thing. Let's stay safe. Let's stay safe, let's stay safe. And in this video as well, um, when I realized it was gonna be shown on TV, I called all my students to come to my house to see for themselves what the president is doing. So you saw it in the video as well that my kids were in my room, you know, also watching what is going on because we don't have a TV in the, in the school. So I had to, it's, it's a way of learning, you know, they see themselves, they hear themselves, it will you know, motivate them to also learn because like I said, I know I'm talking a lot because I'm a teacher and when I start talking about kids, I would like to say a lot of things. You know, these kids in the rural communities learn in abstract, okay? Unlike the private schools or, or the good schools that you can have, I mean, every class has a TV or a projector or something. No, they don't have it. So sometimes in between time, I bring them here to my house. If there is a national program going on they come and watch so that they will also be informed because anytime I go to the classroom to teach there's something I call news time so everybody gets up tell me what you've heard say I've heard that the president has taken the vaccine say I've heard it I've heard it so hey thank you very much and if this is your first time kindly subscribe to my youtube channel Ciao. welcome to Cape Coast Hey, enemy